San Chirillo. What kind of a saint was he? On the other hand, who gives a damn? There are people who'd lay out a lot of bread for something like this. Why not? anything done in town? Did you look up Stefan? Wake up. If you want, I can get your job at the plant. It's honest work, steady, good pay. Think about it. Good jobs don't come easy. Your father's right. You better start thinking about it. This isn't America, Marco. So I noticed. Here, everything's screwed up. Any coffee for me? It's coming. I have to go into town today. Here. Marco, you've got to start earning a living. It's hot. Pop, you think I don't know that? Ah, the only trouble is the best jobs are gone. Look, I mended your trousers for you, dear. Thanks, Mom, but I'm not wearing these pants today. Here. Mm. I'm going to look for a job. Mm, it's about time. Marco, what's this? Marco, what is this? What's a pistol doing in your pants pocket? I feel safer with it. Look, Mom, there's no need to get upset. Everybody in America keeps some kind of weapon on him. They don't do it here. Oh, Marco, I'm so frightened. If you're not careful, you're going to get into a lot of serious trouble. Mother. You're all we have. Here comes Marco. Oh, all right, you better let me handle it. We're over here. Hi. How you doing? How are you, Marco? Shitty. I got a large thirst, a pocket full of air, and an old bag watching me like a hawk over there. <laughs> well, that's your thing, isn't it? My thing is dough, and that's all. What well, you can always ask Lillian for some money. She's in love with you. Her business is picking up, eh? So why do you need money? I've got a big deal going. A lady's coming in from the States. I have to make her think I'm loaded. After that, everything will be groovy for everybody. Why don't you come with me and forget that old crow? Because she's rich. You're really going to earn your money. The bill's 5,000 lira. You pay, Maria. <laughs> Just for a change, huh? And so you say goodbye to sunshine. Now you've lost your golden valentine. And so upon reflection, you realize The bank's always open for you. Wait a second. <laughs> You're a real high-class lady, huh? Don't worry about paying me back. I got more important things to worry about, Lillian. There's a nice bed in the corner. Or didn't you notice? What's your hurry? Afraid you wear yourself out with me? Money and love don't go together. Marco. That's a nice pair. But I'm too busy now, so I'll see you later.
8,000 lira. It's a ripoff. But if the motor lasts a week, it'll be worth it. Fireworks make any sky beautiful, Raoul. But on the sidewalk, the shit is still there. New York or anywhere else. What's the difference? Where's the girl? The goose with the golden eggs? I met Barbara by chance. But America is full of rich, kinky chicks. But Barbara... Barbara is out of sight. Just look at her. Right, eh? When you're born lucky, you're born lucky. I picked her up the next day in front of the Waldorf Astoria. Waldorf Astoria? But you said she owns half a dozen buildings in New York. Yeah, but she lives at the Waldorf. Poor thing. I guess she enjoys being waited on. <laughs> I made the first move, and she made all the rest. <coughs> wow, she's really something. Did you ball her? Sure, first thing. Well, I mean, uh, that's the only way to make a woman understand. You know, having her on the string is like having four aces every time. That's why I need your help. You really want to sew her up? Eh, if I do sew her up, it's worth half a million dollars. Listen, after a few drinks, she'd marry a scarecrow if he had balls. Who's that guy? Who? The one with the mustache? His name's Laszlo. He's half Hungarian and all turd. He looks like a cross between a drug addict and a prize fighter. Yeah, but he's all right, I suppose. Right now, he's in jail, a guest of the government. Well, let's go. You think you can find Vico for me tonight? Bet your ass I can. Don't worry, I'm paying. See you tonight. Yeah, hang loose. At eight, on the button, eh? Back here in two hours, okay? Okay. I don't want to be stranded on this rock all night, eh? Don't worry. I'll be here. Hey, paintbrush! Marco, what brings you to my island? I got a hell of a deal for you. A deal? Yeah, a deal. Will you just look at all this crap? Deals make me sick. Dough makes me sick. And so do you. I have a painting to sell. Hey, cut it out! It's a real antique. Now, why should I buy you a painting? I don't need trouble. If it's hot, go see Louis the Fence. Uh, you came to the wrong place, Marco. You know where I can find him? Ask around. All I know, he lives in the old city. You won't give me a hand? I'd get back a stump. I like things the way they are. Got my little island, 
My models. It's nice. It's Marco. Marco! Get away from here! Who's that? It's Maria. Why? Because we're naked! Oh, let's go to hell with it! Now you can see why Venus arose from the sea. Or was it Aphrodite? Pretty ass. Yeah. I got a great idea. My best work to date. You ready for the quiz? Your yeah, American friend's gonna get the shock of her life. You know, I get a kick out of backing Marco in this little caper. He's really enjoying this. How sweet. You owe money, too. Sure is. It's simple. I'll ask the questions, and you already know the answers by heart. Can't miss. And in return, you'll find out what a thousand-dollar bill looks like. Then we slip Lillian into Raoul's bed, and everybody's happy. Hey, who's that chick? She plays at being a tour guide. She live at the hotel? Don't get yourself in an uproar, my friend. It's a waste of time. Want to lay dough on it? Just keep your mind on business. That's what we're here for. Remember? If I want to, I can make them both. Take care of Barbara when she gets here. I don't waste my nights. Besides, I got enough for them all. You betting or not? Mark, I'll bet you 2,000 lira you don't make it. Payment on demand, eh? Mm. Uh
I may be wrong, but aren't you the sleepwalker I saw in the car of the uh, colony? Uh, I could be, I suppose, but I wouldn't know about it, would I? Oh, I know. That's why I'm here. Sleepwalkers need someone to look after them, or otherwise, they could fall off a roof. Oh, I wouldn't. Well, there goes my 2,000 lira. Damn it. Beds are more dangerous. Oh, no. If you just lie on your back, I'll see that you don't fall. Thanks. I'm not sleepy. Well, we could always do other things. I think I'm allergic to you. Good night. Well, well, well. Let's have it. All right. Don't worry. Maybe you'll do better next time. Look at him. Idiot. Oh, well. Can't win them all. Too bad. Pretty girl. You're not really thinking of marrying a girl like that. Why not? She flew in from America because she couldn't be without me. We're engaged. Sort of. Anyway, you underestimate me. Listen, I've heard of buildings that tall, but this is the first time I've ever seen one. The U.S. is a sea of skyscrapers. And Barbara owns several waves. That's one of her ships. When we get married, I'm going to be commander of the fleet. <laughs> no one would believe it. Why not? All you need is one clean shirt and one in the washer. I won't bring her here, though, I'll tell you that. She's not going to set foot in this rat hole. A boy is ashamed of his house, ashamed of his parents. Do me a favor, Mama, and wash the car for me. That's my medal. Is it made out of gold? It might be, I suppose so. Anyway, what do you want with it? I just want to wear it. Listen, Marco, please don't lose it. I won't. Here, divide it up. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, look who's here. <laughs> Traveling in style, eh? <laughs> hey, what do you say? That's a friend of mine, Danny. He's got a bar we use as a base. Laszlo tells me you're quite a guy. He jokes a bit. Jokes and women are my downfall. Very fancy racing car you got here. 
What do you want, anyway? Well, Laszlo says you're fond of money, and we've got a job for you. Nothing special, just a small delivery, nice and clean. Yeah, you can't refuse it. Or somebody might have a few stories for the police, and that'd be a pity, wouldn't it? Do as Danny says, and everything will be cool. Hmm, lovely flower. Whoever she is, she won't have a chance. <laughs> this is the first good ride I've had this week. All I've had are a bunch of old creeps. <laughs> You're okay. What's your name? Ah, oh, shut up. What the hell do you care about names? Okay. Get out. I haven't got time for you. Well, what's the matter? Beat it. I've had enough. Alitalia annuncia l'arrivo del volo AZ508 da New York, Parigi, uscita numero 4. Grazie. Alitalia announces flight AZ508 from New York, Paris. You think she'll go for it? She'll go for it. Women always do, especially Americans. What if something goes wrong? Don't worry, everything will be all right. Okay, we've got a deal. See you later. Wait a second, I got something for you. Thanks. Oh, don't forget, Marco. Uh, try to pretend that you're thinking before you answer the question. Hmm? Well, I see our American cousin.
Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Hello, Marco. How are you? Fine. Long trip, hmm? You must be tired. Come on, let's get out of here. I'll take you to your hotel. Hi. He's got a big TV show. He owes me a lot. <laughs> you should be pleased. I'm getting fat. <laughs> 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 Come here. Have you been faithful? Never. <laughs> Have you? Sure. You're lying in your teeth. <laughs> Listen, all I want is to be with you. <laughs> nice day, huh? It's lovely. You know, I'm not going to let you go back. You're staying here, and that's it. Oh, it's all so beautiful, so primitive. Oh, Marco, look over there. Oh, we've got miles and miles of coast like that. It makes California seem so plastic. California? Don't tell me it's still there. Oh, it's so beautiful. Well, I had it custom made. <laughs> The idea of living with you. It's all I think about, you know? I think I love you, Marco. Thank you, Carl. Vino di Mostar, eh? Yes, sir. Hmm, a good year. Yes, it's a lovely wine. A nice bottle of wine, a beautiful woman, and we have ourselves a pretty explosive situation. Yes, sir. In that case, why don't we light the fuse, darling? I've been waiting for you for two whole months. For two months, I've been going around in a dream. I couldn't work, I couldn't sleep. I could only think of you. And now you're here. Now you finally made it. Do you love me? Really? Hmm? Well, I'll be truthful with you. Absolutely. You mean more than anything in the world, and that's the truth, Barbara. Tell me, Marco. Not that it's important. It's just that you never mentioned it. But what kind of work do you do? I deal in precious stones, and I just imported a precious <laughs> diamond from America. <laughs> Then you'll have to watch out for thieves. Keep it close to you all the time, dear. <laughs> Look at the faces on those two. Who are they, the founders of the restaurant? <laughs> In America, it's very old-fashioned to have your family portraits hanging on the walls. This is a very historic place. It used to belong to Archduke Walensky. That's why they have all the portraits. Have you seen that one? She's the prettiest of all. <laughs> But only an idiot would paint you with your clothes on.
Well, we have more nudist camps here than in Sweden, even. Well, I don't want to be conspicuous. I better get these clothes off. Oh. Oh, that's better. It's only because of the curves. Completely. And I'm getting hungry again. Again? You just ate. Not for food. For what, then? Hungry for love. Look at those fantastic islands over there. The Trusky Islands. There's a legend about them. Trusky was a, a god who was in love with a woman, and in order not to lose her, he changed her and some of her friends into those islands. Now he can kiss her with waves forever. How pretty. Just think, to be kissed forever. It's a lovely story. I made it up. Did you like it? Yes. <sighs> you know what? I've got a wonderful idea. That's why they make up stories, to give people wonderful ideas. Hey, look over there. One time I saw a school of dolphins go by from one of those rocks. I was spellbound. I've always dreamed of riding a dolphin. Crazy, huh? Ridiculous. Ah. Well, enough of that. We're getting too romantic, don't you think? Darling, will you shut up? Why? Why don't we find ourselves some place that's just a little bit softer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go. What do you think about it? It's worth 2,000 lira, right? Yeah. If you get stuck on stuff like this. I don't get involved with this crap. It's not worth it. Shit, nothing's working out. There's other ways to make bread. How? Find a little snow. You know the game. It's not that simple to find. There's lots of it around. If there's any around, 
Laszlo and Danny will be in on it for sure. Shit, I can't just go up to them and ask them. Hello, how about a little snow for the competition? Look at that face. A whiskey, straight. With those two bastards loose, a saint could get hooked on drugs. Still, I need the bread. I'll have to go to Danny's bar. If they give me some stuff to deliver, I'll split. I'll be gone before they realize what's happened. Scotch, straight, I'll run away. What do I have to do? Make a delivery to the harbor. Nah, this isn't New York. I don't know my way around. Yeah. For 20,000 lira, all harbors are the same. Now listen. Five on the button, okay? Okay. Get there on time. never let you go. Never. I've got a great idea. Listen, let's get married. Right away, huh? Uh, you're crazy. Uh, oh my God, I completely forgot. What do you have to do if it's so important? Business. A friend of mine has some fantastic uncut diamonds. See you later. See you. Ah, food for the troops.
underneath the fourth box car. Louis. Louis, it's Marco. He's not here. What do you want? Give him this. He knows about it. Christ, you're gonna break me. All this dough for this moth-eaten stuff. Moth-eaten? Are you kidding? It's genuine with gold embroidery. If you'd gotten it downtown, you would have paid double or more. I hope so. Otherwise, it's a real swindle. What do you mean, swindle? No, not from you. I just hope somebody likes this stuff. Thanks. So long. Thank Bye. Bye. Hi, kid. Everything go off okay? Yeah, I got it delivered okay. Our client hasn't contacted us. Strange, eh? Huh? You haven't been playing games, have you? Don't be stupid, Laszlo. I was lucky to get away. Somebody turned a police dog loose on me. Anyway, just to let you know we're not playing games. Your neck's at stake. Understand? What do you mean? Listen. I did everything if I was supposed to. that stuff ends up someplace else... What are you talking about? Marco. I said, listen, if that stuff ends up somewhere else... You're crazy. I may be crazy, but you'll be dead. What's bugging you? Nothing's bugging me. It's just a warning. It better arrive tonight or you've had the full course. Am I right, Danny? I'd advise you not to forget what he said, my young friend. Have you heard anything? Oh. Mm. oh, darling, it's absolutely lovely. Where did you find it? I went through about 30 shops looking for it. You like it? I've never put on such a lovely dress. You could pass for a princess. Mm. Princess? No. Harem slave. I'm the slave, not you, Barbara. Everything looks great on you. You're so beautiful.
See you again next year. Oh, you certainly will. Maurizio, Thank have you. a nice trip home. Any mail for us? Here you are, sir. Four ten. Please. Thanks. Is Good there morning, anything sir. else? Thanks. Well, there actually, there's the bill, sir. The bill? It wasn't taken care of. Uh, no, sir. It's been here a few days. Aren't you going to pay the bill now, sir? Uh, well, uh, I suppose they all have to be paid sooner or later. Yes, sir. They do. One moment, sir. Here it is. Yeah, not very cheap for this far out of town, eh? <laughs> they remember me. How are you? Rather forlorn since you left. I've been working very hard. <laughs> Right this way, folks. The bus is about to leave. Hurry now. We don't want to be late. Watch your step there. Please sit down, gentlemen. Enjoy this tour, which features a lot of interesting sights. The bus is air-conditioned for your comfort. <laughs> With a tour guide like her, we need air conditioning. On this tour, we will first visit the newer part of the city, and then the old section, which you will find very interesting, I'm sure. On our right, we're now passing the old harem quarters of Sultan Salem II. Salem had seven wives, and one of his many amusing pastimes was to drown any of the unfaithful ones by putting them in a sack full of cats and tossing them in the river. On your left, where there was once a great bazaar, we see a typical open market selling local products. On our return trip, we'll stop in case you'd like to buy some. Thanks. I don't bother, John. Quite all right. I don't know how to work this. It's awfully complicated. Anyway, I figured I'd try. Excuse me, sir, but you're in my seat. I'm not used to giving anything away, you see. Please. Look, I'm asking politely. Uh, miss, will you take care of this? He's in my seat and he won't get out. It's a matter of principle. Well, this is ridiculous. Listen, there are enough places for everyone. Why don't you sit somewhere else? Why doesn't he? I would have thought your mother would have taught you some manners, young man. Now look, I'm sorry, but I want to sit by the door. And manners don't really come into it. So please stop annoying me. Sit by the door? Look, I'm not going to put up with this, young lady. Now there's no need to get excited, sir. Children can be difficult, but at least you're an adult. Yes. Yes, I am. I'm sorry for this disturbance to the tour group. I'd like to apologize. Sorry about this, folks. Very sorry. I'll be leaving now because everything worth seeing I've already seen. See you later. At the Sleepwalkers Convention.
right, the answer, yes or no? Uh, yes. Right, and was it the Turks who won at Lepanto? No. Also correct, and now your third question. Who dominated Cyprus? Uh, Venice. Right again. The Venetian Republic held the island for nearly a century. <laughs> Not bad for gondoliers. Who was the last doge? Daniele Manin. How many Italian marine republics were there? Four. There were four. And kings of Rome. If I remember right, uh, there were uh, seven. What state is represented by the last star on the American flag? Hawaii. Wonderful. Where was the first astronaut from? Russia. And his name, do you remember? Gagarin. Yes, his name was Yuri Gagarin. Splendid. You've answered every question correctly. How about that, folks? A brilliant performance. We salute our new champion, a man truly deserving of victory tonight. A man who answered each and every one of the questions correctly. These questions have been prepared by experts, especially for our weekly quiz program. Marco, what will you do with the money? I'm not going to take it. And may I ask why? It's nice to win, but what one wins isn't important. Everyone talks about charity, about people uh, who are hungry. Uh, well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm happy with what I got. So you might as well give the money to folks who need it. I don't. That's about it. Nothing more to say, except I do this on behalf of Miss Nelson, the woman I intend to marry. Barbara? Wasn't as tough as I figured. And now a few minutes with Tito Burns and his Pop Festival. Hey, Vico! Sit down. <laughs> Have a drink to Barbara and my success. I'm happy to. To our future. Huh? Right. <laughs> Chin -chin. Do we have to stay much longer? No, just a little while. You don't mind a few more minutes, do you? It's just that there are too many people here. And I have my own special quiz I'd like to put you through. <laughs> Do you have secrets? We only had one. And they already let that out. Yes. Good. Listen, shithead, all our client was an empty box. Work it out with him. What's that mean? I delivered the package exactly as I was told. Quit screwing around. Get that stuff back or we'll see you at your funeral.
What did you do in the States? I'm the kind of woman who wants to know all about the man she's with. I don't understand you at all. It's pretty simple, really. You're beautiful. So I ended up here, in your bed. <laughs> Life's like that. <sighs> what about the blonde lady? Well, uh, I didn't know you then. Don't mind me, I ask too many questions. But I don't want to share you with anybody. I want you all to myself, you understand? I'm so tired of everything. Now I've found you. Marco, you're in trouble up to your neck, aren't you? Don't worry, I'll make it go away. Let's get out of this town. No point kidding myself. This nitwit has to be taken. But she's hard to catch. And if she smells a rat, or somebody squeals on me, there goes the golden eggs. Willie should be in Santa Monica by now. I'll have to find out about flights to New York at the end of the week. I don't know why, but after a while, people on film remind me of dead loved ones. You're tired of me, that's rather obvious. I bore you, don't I? Don't be silly. Pretty strange, but you know, I get very homesick for New York City. I'll have to take another shot. She had a lot of traveler's checks when she got here. I bet she keeps them in her hat box. Yes, I'll go at the end of the week. This is really boring. <sighs> really boring. Maybe we should fly to Mexico and get married. 
Then to Reno for the divorce. Well, then you'd have all my alimony to spend. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Why don't we get married? I'm serious, honey. You want to? I already had one husband. He ended up in a nut house. Well, in your country, he'd make a good candidate for president. Very funny. I've got to get rid of her. The hotel bill must be a mile long. This little bastard thinks he's got me where he wants me. But he's wrong. If he gets out of hand, I'll go to the embassy. Well, I'm going to bed. You little thief. Barbara, listen. Let me go. Let me explain. Leave me alone, you little thief. really ridiculous. I must have left my brains back in America. Find yourself an old bag. You can wheel her into the discotheques. But maybe you can figure out where she hides your money. You bitch, you. Louie! Louie! What do you want, Marco? The bread. I need it right away. Okay. Be right back. These are the ancient Phoenician walls which protected the harbor. Here you are. Wait for me tonight. I have to talk to you. Well, what is it? What's wrong? Okay, let's go on. We've still got lots of places. Judge there? No, that's all right, thanks. Always call on the broads, huh? 
Come on, we have a few things to talk over. Look, he's got a gun. Bastard! Smart little punk, aren't you? Little shit! Uh. Who's got the stuff? <coughs> Who'd you give it to? I didn't do anything. Son of a bitch. You think you're a smart guy, huh? You're gonna talk? I'll get the stuff back for you tomorrow. You better get it back, punk. <coughs> or you lose the back of your head. Tomorrow. Understand? find the money. If I'd thinked on Louie, I'd be dead right now. As long as they don't know who's got it, I can get away with it. Sir, there was a young lady looking for you. She's waiting at the mocha bar. And, um... She's rather upset. Oh, thanks. Said her name was Maria. I see. Some days nothing goes right. If anyone calls, I'll be in my room for a while, okay? Yes, sir. I'll see that you get the call. Okay, thanks. See you later. Hotel call in the annex. Hey, what's going on? A man was killed. Who is it? Louis the antique dealer. Yeah, poor bastard. Somebody stabbed him. Mm. Oh, Christ. It's my turn next. I'd like a scotch and call me a taxi. Yes, sir. Hi. Maria, give me the keys to your pad. I've got a taxi waiting. I need a place to hide out right now. Marco, your mother's dead. No need for you to feel sad. I'm not dead. I might be, though, real soon if you don't help me. I've got to get out of sight. The funeral's today. I saw your father yesterday in the village. I suppose I'd better go back and talk to him. He must be feeling awful. Listen, Maria. I'm not kidding. You just gotta help me. Everything's going to pieces.
Go, Marco. You're right, I'll go now. See you later. I looked all over for you. She kept calling for you. She kept saying, where's Marco? Where's my son? Where's Marco? I didn't know. I found out about it this morning. Pop, I need some money. Well, I haven't got any. And the funeral is just another debt. I have to leave town. I'll get in touch with you as soon as I can. You have to leave? Why? Haven't you learned anything here today? Young man, police. Come with us. What's wrong? What do you want me for? The judge wants to talk to you. We just connected Louis's death with your phone call. And we want to know more about some of your friends. These are interesting, aren't they? Anyway, Marco, how about a little more information for old times' sake? I'd like to help, but I already told you everything I know. No, oh, that's bullshit. But it really doesn't matter that much. Small fish don't interest us. Then why are you recording this? I don't know what was in the package. Cocaine. And you do know. Here, Marco, would you like a smoke? <laughs> Before the execution. <laughs> Don't be so dramatic. Don't take this down, Diana. I'm just being sociable. Let's have a drink. Help me, eh? And why should I help you? <laughs> because that way you keep out of jail. <laughs> we know the two you tried to take for a ride. I bet they didn't like that. I still don't understand. Take for a ride. What do you mean? I mean the cocaine. It went somewhere else and you know where. So what do you want from me? We want your help. Listen, they'll be after you, Marco. And we're after them. So why shouldn't you help us? You recognize this face? It's the antique dealer who was killed. And here are your guardian angels, Laszlo and Danny. So what? Give them my regards. Haven't I made myself clear? Sure you have. I've understood every word. It's clear. Use a small fish so you can catch yourself two big fish, right? Absolutely right. And I'm afraid you haven't got much choice. They'll come after you, but we'll be there too. You want another drink? No, thanks. You're free to go. Hello. What are you doing here? I need you, Marga. Can I come inside? All right, if you want. What about the police, then? What'll you do? If I cooperate, there won't be any trouble, I'm sure. I'll get out of this. And I'll show Laszlo and Danny, too. I'll be okay. Don't worry about that. I want everything to be okay, Mark. And I want to help you, darling. Now you know everything. 
In two days, I have to take a tour group to Marta. Oh, yeah? And, um, I guess I can smuggle you on board. You think so? Really? I know so. I love you, and when a woman's in love, she doesn't ask why. But you're going to have to be very careful, not be seen around too much, and act normally, and things will work out. I know it. If we just have some faith in each other. Move out of the colony annex. And move in over here. Right. That's a good idea. Listen, those two guys, did you tell the police who they are? No, but I'm going to tell them. to the colony, sir. Has anybody been around asking for me today? No, sir. Nobody's asked for you. He's in room 317. Hurry, he hasn't talked yet. Movie's over. Now we'll have some fun. Hey! Everybody's here, huh? Yeah, one too many. Marga, she's the only one who could have told them. Did you tell the police who they are? No, but I'm gonna tell them. You weren't hard to find. That bitch, right? Finally figured it out, huh? Little too late. So what do we do now? Now you pay. I need a little time. A couple of days. But I'll get the stuff back. I swear. Oh, look. We're friends, aren't we? Not any longer. Take him, Laszlo. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Is this a joke? Your last, you bastard. No, listen, I can still... Laszlo! Finish him! Oh. 
calling through the echoes of the past Hallucinations of the world flying by so fast Baby, 